Welcome to a digit lock. So this lock was given to me by a good friend of mine. Uh, she was in China recently and bought this lock for me for my amusement. As I have another one of these digital locks, I will take the advantage of having two to look into this one after decoding. So plan for this video, decode this lock and open it up and look inside. Yeah, we already see the combination here, 5, 6, 7, 8, but I want to tell you or show you how to decode these locks in general if you don't know the combination. So let's push all the buttons up. Yeah, you push this button here and if the right code is entered, the shackle would come out, would come out but the right code is not entered. So you push the button and uh, you have to cause the internals to uh, get tensioned. And sometimes this doesn't work by just um, pulling or uh, pushing this button. You have to pull on the handle at the same time. So let's see. So all are more or less down. Ah, now you have heard, gave a good click and the shackle came out a little bit. So now the locking mechanism is tensioned. Let's see. If the lock opens, you have only have to push the buttons up and down, up and down, re regularly. Ah, and here we go, it's open. Yeah, it's really easy. Well, tolerances are not that good in these locks, but hey, it's a cool looking lock. And as I said, as I have two of these, um, I'm gonna open up this one and so we can inspect the guts. All right, the cover is off and we can look inside. We can see the shackle under spring tension and there's a little notch on this U that controls the position of the shackle. <clears throat> then we have the handle that is connected to this uh, trigger uh, which is also under spring tension. For further analysis I pull out the shackle and also pull out this little spring. So how does it work? First of all, <coughs> this trigger here controls the possible movement of this U. If we carefully inspect this edge here, we can see there's a little piece sticking out it goes in a groove on the U and if the trigger here is uh, moved to this side the U is blocked so the U will not come out. You can imagine that the shackle can come out only if the U goes into this direction because the U directly controls the movement of the shackle. So first of all we need to move the trigger to this side so that it gives free the little groove. And now it's the question what position these buttons have because they have cutouts and if the cutouts are correctly aligned this U can move up. So let me enter the right code and I will show you that. This must come down and this up and now I should be able to pull out or to, to pull on this U. Now I can also remove the trigger and here we can see how it works. These buttons have cutouts on different heights. This has the cutout a little bit deeper than uh, this button here and this determines the height the button needs to have to um, to yeah, represent the correct uh, code down or up. So in this case these have to go up and these have to go down and so the cutouts in the buttons give free the room for this U. Push it down. Now the buttons are not aligned correctly and pulling on the U uh, will not cause any 
um, any movement. Yeah, maybe we want to inspect the guts a little um, more deeply, so I will try to uh, disassemble it. First I have to push this down again and this up. So now I think I can pull on the U, okay. Let's see if we can somehow pry this out. Yeah, looks like. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> so here we can see the U uh, a little better. Yeah. It has little notches on the top and gaps in between. In the locked up state, the button sits in between two notches uh, so you can move the button up and down. But only if the button has the correct height, the cutout in the button allows the U to slide through because of these little notches. Okay, I think that's pretty clear. <laughs> yeah, funny little lock with some nice uh, functionalities. Now it's my task to get this back together. <laughs> Okay, so here we go. The well, lock is reassembled and I didn't pay attention to where which button went, so I don't know the code. Let's see if we can figure out what code it is. Mm -hmm. Felt a little give on the shackle. I think it's under tension already. Oops, and it's open. So looks like this this goes down, and this goes down, and this goes down, and that goes down. Yeah, it looks like uh, 1, 3, 4, and 7 is the right code. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, quite a lot of fun you can have with one of these digital locks. Get yourself one of these and have some fun. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, Monica, for bringing this lock back from vacation for me to play with. And yeah, everybody else, thank you very much for watching. Happy picking and decoding. Cheers and bye-bye. Mm -hmm.